Welcome back to another video my pupils, today we have a banging video for my wingers. We have 15 skills that is best used on the wings to beat your markers. These skills are only to be used in white areas so don't use them in the middle of the field please. Remember to like and subscribe, let's go. First up the Bolasi Flick. This skill may seem complex at first glance, but as you slow it down you can see that it is broken down into stages. First step is the cutback. Then secondly you use the sole of your foot to roll the ball with the opposite. Or even the same foot, then thirdly you flick up the ball with the opposite foot. Next up, this skill from Neymar. Extremely technical on first sight, but easy when slowed down. Firstly ball roll across the body. Then reverse step over with the opposite foot, then Rabona with the same foot that had ball rolled. Next up the Berbeltov spin, to do this. Cut back then in the same motion and with the same leg. You flick up the ball into the direction you are heading. The Maggetti spin is a great skill that can be used at full pace. While your back is facing the defender, firstly glance and see where the defender is. Then use the inside of your foot to tap it on to the sole of the next foot and exit. The inside tap is one of those skills on the simpler side. Firstly use the foot closest to the defender and use the inside of that foot to tap onto the opposite foot which will tap away from the defender. The standing fake is a beautiful skill. That is done by using both feet. The trick is to use your opposite foot as a decoy. Then go the other way. This underappreciated skill simply destroys defenders. Due to the pace and quick movement from one way to the next. Just drop your shoulder one way then go the next. The double stop and go is a running skill. That attempts to trick the defender into an attempted cut back twice. The key is to drop your shoulders as low as possible to make the defender think you're going to cut it back then accelerate. The scoop is a perfect decoy for a cross or pass. Simply use the inside of your foot to hook the ball away from the defender. Make sure you lock your ankle. This gives the skill more versatility and pace. The in and out is a full back's nightmare. This skill is done when a typically known one-footed player cuts in on his stronger foot and cuts back on to his weaker foot. The cut should be quick as possible. To master the advanced elastico, your first step is to do a quick step over with your stronger leg. Then instantly after the step over, use the outside of your weak foot to push the ball outwards. After the push outwards, sharply cut the ball in with the inside of your foot. This motion should be sharp and snappy like a snake bite. Following that motion the ball will be back on your strong foot so all you have to do is go past your defender. This skill move exposes flat-footed defenders. Firstly, when in white areas and you're going at almost full speed with the ball and the defender is tightly marking you and you want to slow him down suddenly. This is your first cue to do the Kreif turn. Now, this step is vital to fool the defender. Open up your body. This tricks the defender for a cross or pass. Also, the plant of your standing leg should point at an angle, which will trick him also. Notice the angle that I open my body to with my shoulders slanted. This allows me to lean a bit forward like a body feint which further tricks him for a cross or a pass. Instead of following through with the swing, use the inside of your dominant foot to drag the ball behind your planted foot. This motion should be swift and close to your planted foot to maintain control of the ball. As you drag the ball behind your planted foot, pivot your body 180 degrees in the opposite direction. The first step of the hocus pocus is to place one foot ahead of the ball, then make a passive touch with the inside of your foot. Make sure not to hit it too hard. After that touch, wait for the ball to pass your standing leg. This is the signal for the second touch. The second touch should be an aggressive touch with the lower instep. Make sure to hit it past the defender and into space. Accelerate from this position with your legs crossed. 
Firstly, approach your opponent at an angle to create uncertainty. Also maintain a tall posture and keep the ball on your stronger side. The trick to this skill is to use your stronger foot to do a fake kick out with your leg extended. This should be done as quick as possible. Immediately after the kick out, your next move should be to get your foot back around the ball and cut inside using the outside of the foot. Then accelerate. 